Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Hey, kids. I'm Q, the Costa Rican, and today we are back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet random Wi-Fi battles. Today, we use a very, very fun team. It's got Specs Pult. We got Focus Sash, Memo Swan. We got Life of Lucario. What more do you want? Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Q, you're using Terrapagos. I thought that was an Uber. Nom, nom, nom. Uber, Uber. What are you doing? Um, basically, my philosophy, my thing, how I, how I feel is that unless you terrestrialize Terrapagos, it's not an Uber. That's when its stats become broken. Honestly, re regular, like, regular form Terrapagos with the really good ability is just a good Pokemon with a really good ability. Not necessarily broken. We're not even trying to use it as, like, a sweeping set. I genuinely just wanted a normal type that could rapid spin for this team specifically. And it was either Terrapagos or Komala. And I was like, you know what? Or I, oh, it was also, uh, what's his face? Um, homie. The bike. The, the young vroom vroom. What the fuck's his name, bro? Uh, Twelve seconds later. Cyclozar. Cyclozar. I figured it out. Anyways, I chose Therapagos. You know what I'm saying? We use Cyclozar a lot lately. Uh, not really. Just like the past couple weeks, we've used it twice. And I don't like Komala. <laughs> I'm a Komala hater. Go ahead. <laughs> Roast me if you want to. Um, but yeah, one of the rapid spinner. That was a normal type. Boom. Terrapagos. Uh, we also have uh, Sticky Webs of Raccoonit to help enable Lucario, Lycanroc, and Mamerswine. Uh, we do have Choice Scarf Lycanroc because this Pokemon is broken, okay? Not a lot of people talk about Lycanroc enough, but that's just because how slow he is, bro. He's got no guard and you can't miss Stone Edges. Have you ever met someone who didn't want to land a Stone Edge? Exactly. Everybody should love Lycanroc, but it's just so damn slow with base 82 that it's either got to run a Choice Scarf and then... I don't know. Regardless, we're using it today. Hopefully, uh, with the webs and the scarf, we can outpace some of the fast Pokemon in this metagame, like Booster Energy, up, Fluttermane, and all that shit. I'm basically starting to prep now for these random battles in case, as if they're like 3v3s with the, with the mods that they could use because, you know, Ubers are going to start being, it's going to start becoming the norm these days once Regulation G starts. Not that this video has anything to do with Reg G. We're doing 6v6 today. I'm just saying. So that, that, that's just something to keep in the back of your mind. You're probably going to run into a lot more Ubers lately if you do some random battles like I do. Uh, but regardless, I think I think I already said it before, but in case I didn't, if you want to check out all the EV spreads, check out the Pokepaste in the description down below. Uh, if you want to use the team uh, for yourself, the team ID is in the right-hand corner, RT5FLX. Why does that sound like a fucking graphics card? Um, let me know in the comments section down below if you want to use the team, how it went for you, as well as any of the new Pokemon you guys might want to see us use in the future. Let us know that as well in the comment section down below. With that being said, guys, I uh, hope you all like the video. I hope you all subscribe if you're new, and I hope you all enjoy the battles. Okay, here we are with the first battle, and like I said, we're using Terrapagos, even though we're not planning on terrestrializing it. So it's not necessarily an Uber, in my opinion. But we do end up going up against uh, a Terrapagos of their own, as well as a Lugia. So don't really know what that's gonna mean for us. Um, but getting up webs does look really good. I am just gonna loot off a Mammoth Swine because it looks insane in front of literally everything. Like there's like no bad matchup besides like maybe Lapras, but even then I could get up rocks and then earthquake. Um, so yeah, like it just it just looks good in front of everything. I don't know what's gonna happen here, but all I know is I'm leading Mammoth Swine and I'm disrupting somebody. It's like it's got a super effective move for almost every Pokemon. Almost every Pokemon. Four out of six. So it's pretty good. So let's see what they lead off with. I'm assuming, uh, I don't, actually, I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say, I did not know what to assume. Rocks would be pretty nice, but I mean, if they give me damage on this, I'll take that too. So I'm just gonna Ice Go Crash immediately. Uh, we'll see if we're faster, because I believe if they are uninvested, we are faster. Yeah, let's go. I mean, I don't know Lugia's base speed, I'm gonna be honest. I think it's like 90. That did so much damage. Okay, they go for Future Sight. Okay. That was through multi-scale? Holy shit, wait a minute. Was it really? Nah, there's no way. Did it get pressure? Did it have pressure? I didn't, I don't remember. I don't know if pressure popped up. I don't know. Uh, regardless, they went for Future Sight. I'm gonna get on my rocks now. We've seen that we're faster, so like even if they go for like a recover or something here, like I don't really care. They go for arrow blast, that's fine. We got our rocks up, dude. Am I tweaking? Do isn't isn't multi scale the only ability Lugia gets? Does it get like pressure? It might get pressure. 
If they're running pressure, they're silly. I mean, they gotta be. Yeah, they are running. They gotta be running pressure. Like, there's no way that iron that ice will crash you that much damage. What the hell was that? Did I miss something? What was that? What did I just take? Did they miss Aeroblast? I'm so tweaking right now. Doesn't Future Sight, like, pop up somewhere? Is that what that was? Was this Aeroblast plus Future Sight? There's no way that's how much that did. It could be. I just completely missed everything. Um, I should crash here. I mean, I should shard here in case they go, in case they just go for an attack. But I'm going to crash. I knew I should have just sharded. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Let's just miss. That's fine. Okay, good job, man. was fine. Honestly, you beat an Uber. What more could I ask? You beat one of the Ubers. What more could I ask for? Um, they have a guy. I could just go in, into a rack with it, just get the webs up. I don't even think I need them, but like it would be fun to have them up. Mainly just so that um, what am I looking at? Let me show that Lucario has an easier time. Yeah. Anyways, let's get our webs up. They go for Dragon Claw, which does not do it to a KO. You love to see it. We went for Aurasphere and Dragon Claw. Um, and then we are... I guess we're just going to liquidate, huh? Yeah, there's really no other reason to keep this guy around. Oh, uh, let's just liquidate. As they Dragon Claw again. That does look like a clean 3-hit KO. With this Mystic Water, Water Bubble, Liquidation. Did a decent amount, all things considered. The only unfortunate part is I don't really have, like... What do I even do here? I guess I go Lucario, right? I surely go Lucario. What's this Pokemon's name? Como. I guess I go Lucario. Because I should outpace this. We're max speed. They're not scarfed. They have a lower base speed. This Flash Cannon might not kill, but I'm just going to pray. I'm just going to pray. Life Orb. Let's go. Alright, perfect. If they were like... A little bulky, that would have been a that would have been a bit of a roll. But if they were offensive, it was pretty much guaranteed. So, what's next? I don't know. Terrapagos, maybe? I mean I'm a fighting type, so I'll stay in. Pokemon.gg, not sponsored. They go out into this Pokemon. You're not bulletproof. Stop it. You're not bulletproof. I refuse to believe that this Pokemon is bulletproof. Stop it. Stop. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. No nasty plot necessary. There's no way you're bulletproof, bro. Your guts. They're all guts. This gotta this gotta die. I swear to god, bro. This is not bulletproof. Does bulletproof even block or sphere? I feel like it does. I feel like it does it? I feel like it does. Okay, well. One of the two is true. <laughs> it either doesn't block it or they're not bulletproof. Okay. So, Ursaluna out of the way. I gotta look this up. Is Aurasphere a bullet move? Let's see, wait. Let's just look at Pokemon Bulletproof. I know I know this answer, but for some reason I just don't know it right now. It does block Aurasphere. Okay, I thought so. Okay, anyways, I go out to this Pokemon. Which I am faster than, but I'm gonna switch because I'm smart. Uh, I'm just gonna go out to my guy here. And just, I'm just going to click uh, Spec Fire, Flamethrower, because there's really no other move I need to click here. And I honestly just need to keep Lucario alive, and I think I'm good. Psyblade. That'll do a decent amount to me. That's a lot. But yeah, now we're just going to click uh, Flamethrower, I think. Yeah. I think we're just going to click Flamethrower. Nice. Okay, so this probably kills... No? Oh my gosh. That's fine. Kill me, and then Lucario can get another kill. That's perfectly fine with me. And as long as Terrapagos isn't boots, we should be fine with the Life Orb or Sphere. And then we also have, uh... We also have the, um... Lycanroc in the back. Scarf. Uh, which will clutch up here. Like, for sure, for sure. Um, could they be Scarf Sideblade? They could... Vacuum Wave surely kills. I just want to see it. <laughs> it better kill. 
Okay, I thought so. I mean, it felt like they were only on like three HP, so right? Like, surely it did. Life Orb, Terra, all that. All those all those uh, modifiers added. But yeah, I mean, if the Terra goes... If it's if it's multi if it's a uh, Terra shell Terra shell yeah if it's Terra shell gets broken by the rocks, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty confident we knocked them out with Life Orb or Sphere. Uh, and and if they went Libris, I'm also pretty confident we knocked them out unless they Terra, which they haven't Terra yet. And we do in fact break their Terra shell, so they probably Terra here. And even if we somehow don't knock them out, Life Orb not Life Orb, Choice Scarf Lycan Rock should be able to clutch up in the end game. So I'm just gonna Aura Sphere here. Because if they Terra, Stellar, which that's all they could Terra into, I feel like they still might kill. Like, I know they get uber stats, and that's what makes it broken, but I feel like it, it might just kill. Let's find out. Maybe not, but I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm optimistic, I guess. Because this gives them, like, 160 HP or something. Uh, 160 base HP. It didn't kill, but do they kill us in return is the question. They go for the very strong Terra Star Storm, Terra Stellar Boosted. Also going to be super effective, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, so never mind. Oh, uh, yeah, because I forgot. That's super effective against Mons that are Terrestrialized. But, like I said, Lycanroc gets the clutch up now with the Stone Edge, baby. Super effective against... um. The Lapras that's in the back, and faster than this because we're Scarf. Even if they were somehow Scarf as well. Uh, we're faster, baby. Like, if they were Scarfed under Sticky Webs is what I meant. You know what I mean? Because, uh, Black and Rock's like base 82 or something. And Terrapagos is base 85, so if they were like timid max speed Scarf, they could have outpaced us if we weren't Scarf, but then they were locked into Terra Star Storm. So we probably would have tanked a hit. Or no, we definitely would have tanked a hit. But guess who's not tanking this hit? Lapras, because I don't miss. Is out on the field. I love landing stone edges. Like, I wish this Pokemon was just a little bit faster. That's why I went that's why I ran a choice scarf. I just wish this Pokemon was just a little bit faster. Because if it was if it was like base 100, oh man. No guard stone edges. Oh man. It's so good. It's still good. I like using it from time to time. What a good Pokemon. Love no guard. Mega Pidgeot. Oh, I miss you. Is he coming back? Ne next game? Next game? Okay, now this is a team. This is funny because it actually low-key looks like they'd have a pretty decent sun team. If they replace, like, I guess, Cloyster with, like, uh, someone that sets sun. I don't know. Uh, regardless, I think Mamoswine looks like a really good lead. Uh, don't necessarily need webs in this one, I don't think. I th think Lucario outpaces everything naturally, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know. I'd actually have to look it up. I don't know cloth speed off the top of my head. I feel like it's 80 something. I don't think it's 92, but it might be. Uh, same thing with the other guy. Cloth. Is it 95 or is cloth like random? Oh, 75. That's what I thought. Okay. And then the other guy, the, 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 the double, the double seed dude. Fuck's his name? Skull villain? Skull villain. 75. Okay. So yeah, Lucario should be faster than everything naturally. It just uh I gotta get walled by the um I gotta get walled by the Claude Sire. So we'll see what happens here. Uh they do loot off with this Pokemon, which is also really annoying, because yeah, I don't really have a way to break it. Which side specs, I guess specs pult. So yeah, we'll go for that. Uh we'll get our rocks up first, because it makes sense. We'll see what they go for. If they go for curse, that's fine. We'll be able to save our uh what's it called? Our sash. They go for Fissure and land it immediately. Bro, what? Huh? Who raised this person? What do you mean you land your first Fissure you ever went for? On turn one. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna get off some Choice Specs Shadow Ball. Uh, if they go for Fissure again, that'd be hilarious. But I, I, I take it they're just gonna go for the guaranteed hit. Which is probably like Wave Crash. Or they do go for Fissure again. What is wrong with them? <laughs> What is wrong with them? <laughs> Bro, they better not land it. There's no way you land two out of three fissures. There's just no way. Thank you. What the fuck? What are you doing? Does everybody have an Oko move? Is that what the, the is that what the, is that it? Is that it? Is everyone is that the joke? Close to our sheer cold. I guess Claw would have fissure. Claw would have fissure. I don't know what the brute the bonnet though would have. Yeah, I don't know what Brute Bonnet. I don't know what the Grass types would have as the. Okay, I don't know. I don't think they have one. 
I don't know. Regardless, that was hilarious. What the fuck, bro? Bro goes for Fissure three times in a row. Lands the first one. Lands the first one, so the second and third time he missed, he's like, wait, what? I thought this movie was just a guaranteed one to KO. What the fuck? <laughs> My strategy. Okay, anyways, they do have... Funny enough, that Fissure would guarantee land. Versus, uh... Versus my no guard guy. That's pretty funny. Anyways, we're gonna shadow ball because they're dead. There's, they, they, unless they terra normal, there's no way they live this. I don't even think if they terra dark, they live that. I don't know if they know about cloister stat spread, but the spadef is very low. I want to say it's like hella low, like 65 type shit. I'm gonna fact check myself. I say 65, chat. What do you say? It was 45. I was close. That was my next guess. All right, who's next? Cloth? Skull villain. I'm gonna stay in. I mean, I don't see a reason not to. I don't want this mod to get out of crate. Get out of it's air balloon. What? Okay, air balloon. Sure. Okay, they're moody. They're a bit moody. Just don't get no speed boost, please. They're a bit moody. They're a bit of a moody little flower. Skull villain. Attack raises. But your but death fell. Oh, that's bad. You're dead. Wait, you're literally dead. You spadef dropped? You telling me that spadef dropped, bro? You telling me that spadef dropped, bro? Okay, this was just a dragapult. How you doing? <laughs> we might get a third battle in, is what I'm trying to say. I don't remember how short or long that first one was. I want to say it was like 10 ish minutes, but I honestly don't know. Uh, Could have been nine. Uh, They finally go out into their Shadow Ball resist. Who would have thought? It took them forever. Do we see a booster energy? We do! Assuming that's attack. It is, in fact, attack. Good Pokemon. I'm gonna switch. Who do I not care about getting slept? Who's still around? We still got Cloth. We still got this. We still got Clod. I guess, technically... You? And then I think we'll sack Mammal Swine. Like, if they put this to sleep. I'm assuming that it's either Spore or Sucker Punch coming in right now. Oh? We're gonna Terrestrialize, fellas. So this is actually really good. This will give, this will give us some insight. Because basically, before it Terrid, we had... We had pretty much a, a super effective move on almost everybody to try and hit it with. But now that it's Grass-type, maybe saving Mammoth Swine was a little bit better. They do, in fact, go for the Spore. Uh, but I'm not saving Mammoth Swine anymore because I will be sacking it off. So that I can get a free switch into something else. Um, do they have Sucker Punch? That is the other question. I don't know if they do or not. Because if they don't, then saving Mammoth Swine would be better. Because then I can get a strong hit off. But uh, regardless, I think we'll just click Ice Shard here if we somehow survive. They went for Ingrain. Oh, we're good. Wait. Spore ingrain. There's no way the move is sucker punch, right, guys? Right, guys? There's just no way. Yes, I knew what I'm talking about. Die. Let's. Oh my god, they lived. Trailblaze. Oh shit, that's fine. Dragapult is surely still faster. Dragapult is definitely still faster, and now they no longer resist the dark, uh, the ghost move. We just click Shadow Ball again. Actually, you know what? Just to humor. Just to humor. Actually, wait. We just go out into this. This always is the better play. This is always the better play. Um, and we just vacuum wave. Let's go. Life Orb vacuum wave, baby. Very low base power. But sometimes it's all you need. Sometimes it's all you need. Ingrain, bro. Spore, Ingrain, Trailblaze. Bro was cooking, cooking with that set. He's like, I'm gonna sit here forever. I don't know why he Terra Grassed immediately. That was kind of silly, in my opinion. But it is what it is. Cloth is huge. Holy shit, that's that one Cloth. Well, it's my time now. This is that one Cloth that you fight in the story mode. This Cloth is humongous. Unless this is just normal-sized Cloth, and I'm being... Silly, I don't know. I feel like that cloth is huge. I feel like when you see it in the wild, it's really like small, except for the one you fight, of course. The raid boss cloth. I forgot what its name is. Uh, what do they call him? 
captains? Were they? No. What were they? Terra Beast? No. I don't know. I don't remember what they were. I know you got a sandwich after that, after everyone. That's all I remember. I don't know. It's been so long since I actually like played through the game. I wish I could randomize the game because I totally played through it again with like a randomization. Um, but otherwise, it's kind of just like boring base game. Uh, this Pokemon could be a little annoying. I'm just gonna hit it with a. I'm gonna get nasty. Cause if they're not unaware, this will this is the better decision. If they are unaware, then this means nothing. But I just want to see. They go for Earthquake. That shouldn't kill me, thanks to my no longer being a Steel type. They're Flame Orb. Huh? Huh? What? Okay, they weren't unaware. Why? I low-key wanted to find out, but I also didn't want to stick around that long. Because I was like, wait, what? Why were you Flame Orb Claude Sire? What the fuck? Guys, make it make sense. Flame Orb Claude Sire? What? I don't get it. Ooh, man, this could actually be an interesting one. They have, like, so many good counters to, like, specific Pokemon we have, right? They have, uh... They have Chansey for, because we're running Special Pult and with Choice Lock, so we can't just, like, U-turn after. We gotta read and U-turn immediately. Um, they have Mudsdale for our Lycanroc. Um, and then the same thing, like, Chansey for the Lucario and stuff like that. Uh, this could be an interesting one. I don't know. I think rocks definitely go a long way here. I might just Earthquake immediately, though. Um, Terrapagos looks kind of just like a sitting duck. I can switch in on pretty much whatever I want. Um, might finally use Terrapagos <laughs> in this one. Let's see what happens. I don't know. That Chansey actually looks so annoying because of uh, the special attackers we're using today. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, man. All right, let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping... Uh, I'm honestly hoping I could maybe save my... Um, my what's it called? Anyways, this is a great... This is a great start. I should just click Earthquake. I really should just click Earthquake. And then get my rocks up later. So I'm gonna. Yep. I figured they just stay in. It's a Toxapex. They don't die, which is crazy. And they go for Toxic. Who would have thought... <laughs> but we got a lot of damage off on it. So they're either gonna Baneful Bunker, Protect, or Hard Switch into Dragonite. But I guess that's kind of a crazy play in my opinion. But we'll see what they do. I feel like they gotta have Protect if they're going for this play. But we'll see. We shall see. This is crazy that this is what they decided to do. If they just stay like regular and sack this off, they're insane. But they don't necessarily have an Earthquake switch in. But it's technically like Mudsdale or something. So we'll see what they want to go out into. Levianard. It's Chansey? What? Your Earthquake switch in? Bro, what do you mean? What do you mean? I feel like I 2 KO this. Like, there's no way. There's no way I don't 2 KO this. Like, I know they're Eevee Light. Oh my god, I don't. What the fuck? That's crazy. I'm gonna go for Earthquake. Okay. Defense curl? Hello, sir? Chansey, can you calm down? What is happening? What is actually happening right now? I'm gonna save this Pokemon. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If I Terra Fighting plus two Aura Sphere, it'll guarantee two a KO. I might just go for that. I don't know what's about to happen. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for that. I don't know what the fuck's about to happen here, bro. I just saw a defense curl Chansey. I'm hoping it's rolled out. That'd be so funny. Okay, soft boiled. I figured. If they go for Thunder Wave, they go for Thunder Wave. The set would be defense curl, soft boiled, Thunder Wave. Like, no. They gotta have, like, seismic toss or something. I'm gonna go for Nasty Plot. I might as well just get the plus four. And depending on what they do here. Yeah, I'm getting a plus four. Because then I don't have to Terra. I still will, though. Yeah, what the fuck are we... Are we what are we dealing with here? Do they have Body Press? 
Nope, they just defense curl again. Okay. Unless they tear a ghost here, I am going to murder them. Don't you tear a ghost now. Don't you do it now. Don't you do it now. We still get walled by the Toxapex, which is the funny part. But maybe it's low enough. Maybe it's low enough. That plus four Aura Sphere would do enough. Because it was at, like, red when it switched out. So it would have got, like, a few, a little bit more than that. So I, I feel like it, it, may, it might be at, like, 35%. Which looks like we would kill with plus four Aura Sphere. So I'd go for it. I'd go for it, dude. All right, let's see what happens. We either win or lose, I think, right now. <laughs> well, not lose. We, we might win right now is basically what I'm getting at. Uh, Because, yes, Rock should break everything. They go out of Mudsdale. Bro, you are dead. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you Terra Ghost? I'm scared to click Aurisphere, but I'm gonna. Okay, yeah, I don't know what they thought was gonna happen here. Mudsdale goes down. I don't care if you're AV. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way, bro. I'm plus four. I'm plus four Life Orb Lucario. Yeah, get him out of here. Guys, I don't know what the hell is gonna happen in that battle. It looked like a real team. They let off with Pex, they clicked Toxic like a fucking nerd. They went into Chansey, and it started defense curling. I don't know what they were cooking. Maybe they had Seismic Toss, I don't know. Regardless, we prevailed with Life Orb Lucario. Life Orb Lucario is the truth, dude. Everybody wants to use physical. Nah, man, special is vibing pretty hard right now. Uh, with that being said, guys, that's going to be it from us today. Nice little three battles. The last two were pretty quick. Eh. Second one was actually not, not that much uh, shorter than the first one, but third one was definitely really quick. With that being said, guys, that's going to be it from us today. If you all liked what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the team, as well as any of the new Pokemon you guys might want to see us use in the future. Let us know that as well in the comment section down below. But with that being said, guys, we're going to get out of here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.